here we are, Easy Blues lesson video. <clears throat> Standard tuning, but like a step down, so if you put your capo on the second fret, you should be in tune. I didn't check if I was in tune before this, but that would be standard tuning on the second fret. If anyone's having trouble with the, uh, the, the hammer ons and the rolling sound, it'll make it much easier if you just slide your strings to go down a step. The bare bones of this song is just a basic little plucking on the A. like this and this is what you need to practice until you're blue in the face and that is the whole song in its simplest form once you've got that basic once you've got the basic rhythm down Stretch it out to the full chord. And then the rest of the shape progression. Just to there. And then a the little finger on the fifth. This song really gets its balls from is the like the percussive changes between the chords, these little pull offs that John would do, and that's exactly what's coming next. So you just hold that chord shape and pull it off, just like one at a time if you can, but all together at the same time. And that's how you get back around without that sounding really wooden. Nicely into the most difficult part. I'm gonna go back to the basics, which I hope you paused the video for several weeks and practiced. Um, but here it is again. If you didn't practice it, practice it now because you're gonna need it. Middle finger, second fret, G string, right there. It's gonna make that in the G and the D. Really, it's just like an anchor point, otherwise, you have to just all over the place. But most of the time, I don't even play it. But we're gonna play both the middle strings and the A string. Taps. If, you, if you've practiced it, you should have got the taps in. And then straight after the tap, you flick the first fret on the D string.
finger, third fret, and it's going to go down as you plug the string. And the actual motion is to pull it off and then hammer it back down again in between the two stabs at the middle strings. Okay, that's quite clearly just an E chord, first fret, G string. Crazy little pull off. <laughs> so e in the A. Middle finger, second fret for that movement. I'm around from two to four. Second fret, middle finger. Back to the little, to the little thing with the hammer on stuff. Slowly. between verses, what do you call it, I don't know, <laughs> it's just like a little run going down, going down the neck. I like to keep the same, the same shape from the rest of the song. So I use the middle finger on the B string, and that is the 10th fret, 11th D string, ring finger. finger, B string, third fret, ring finger, D string, fourth fret. going from the B chord
that's all of it. Um, if you're having any trouble with any of it, give me a shout and I'll see if I can clear it up for you. But that should be everything you need to know. You can play around with it and figure other little bits out. I, I do things sometimes and I don't even know what I've done. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, 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 enjoy getting blisters on your fingers. You could not have timed that any better. Why? Because I've literally just pressed stop. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Rolling down, I'm the only man making jelly. I keep my damn. 